Okay, I wanted to give an update on um, the baking soda, apple cider vinegar, no poo method for the hair. Um, I never did really do a follow-up video on that. So I've cut my hair since then. And the last couple of months, I did go back to regular shampoo and conditioner. And I'll be honest, I didn't like it. I like the way it feels immediately after. But after um, a day or two, I got to wash my hair again. I have to go to probably every other day, at least every third day. And I really don't think that's necessary if, if your hair is healthy and clean and all that. So I just wanted to give a quick update. I did go back to the no poo method. So I used baking soda, apple cider vinegar. And my hair right now kind of looks a little gross. It's all brushed out, but, and don't, don't, you know, don't look at the haircut. Ignore the haircut. I cut my bangs too short. Um, but it's a little gross right now because it needs to be washed again. But it's been like four or maybe five days since I last washed it. And it's just now getting to the point where I'm like, ew, it really needs to be washed again. So um, I am going to wash it. And then I will get another short clip to show you what it looks like afterwards. And I'll talk about how I do the no poo method. It's so, so simple. So this is before. And this is the after. Um, I know it probably doesn't look all that much different, but it's a little lighter, fluffier, and it always looks more blonde when I first wash it, so it just feels cleaner. And Whenever we first moved to this house three years ago, um, I got my hair cut short like this. Um, I got it cut short knowing that I was going to have that yucky phase, and it did last a couple months, but it was short and I could, I could deal with it better. And after that, it was fine. I never had a problem since, except for... A short period of time where I went, tried to go without using any apple cider vinegar and my hair got a little bit um, my scalp was really dry and it just it felt different I didn't like it as much and then I realized oh I haven't used apple cider vinegar in a while that's the problem so I started using it again and it was fine now let's go inside and I'll show you how I how I use it how I mix the water and the baking soda okay this really is very very simple um, I wish I had a tripod for this because I kind of need both hands, but what I do is I just take one of these, it was a hydrogen peroxide bottle, you can use whatever bottle works for you, but this is about a quart size. Uh, sometimes I use, I reuse these bottles, and um, literally this is all I do. I take like a handful of this, kind of crush it up. I have a 50 pound bag of this, so I've got it in a bowl, and then I just, it's hard with one hand. <laughs> I just put it in here in this box in this bottle and you know it ends up being more than that because I dropped half of it but I just put it in that bottle and then I fill the bottle up with water so you really don't have that much baking soda when I first started this I was using a lot more and I was also just making a paste don't make a paste no it'll mess up your hair it'll be nasty the, the pH balance is not right unless you just do a little bit of baking soda and fill it all the way to the top with water and then it should not be harsh for your hair um, when I tried doing the paste it was very harsh and um, it didn't necessarily damage in my hair I don't think but it can dry out your scalp make your scalp real itchy and it's just not good for it so just make sure you have plenty of water in there and <clears throat> remember there is an adjustment phase most people refer to it as the yucky phase uh, your hair, <clears throat> excuse me, your hair is going to be kind of nasty for probably at least a month. Mine was almost two months. Um, anyway, that's all you do with the baking sodas. Just put like, a little bit. I didn't measure it, I think, but it's uh, maybe a couple of tablespoons in the bottom. Fill it with water. Pour it over your hair. Let it sit for just a minute or two. You don't want to leave it in there very long. Then rinse it out really well. Then you do the same exact thing with the apple cider vinegar. You put just a little bit in the bottom of this. Um, and a lot of times I'll just, you know, when the bottle gets low, I'll just use this bottle and then just keep using it. Uh, then you fill it up the rest of the way with water, just like you did the baking soda. And you can leave this in longer. What I do is when I'm taking my bath or shower, I'll rinse this out pretty quickly. Then I'll put this in there and leave it while I am getting clean. Um, the rest of me. So then once I'm done um, bathing or showering, then I'll rinse it out. 
and you will not smell any of the vinegar in your hair after you rinse it out so don't worry about that the smell does not stay so like I said it does take some time for your hair and your scalp to get used to it and once you're once the pH levels kind of balance, I think most people will like this as long as you use enough water and you follow through. But you got to stick it out. You got to stick it out through that yucky phase if you really want this to work. It took me three tries. So I hope that helps. And now I have a mess to clean up. I want to give a shout out to Wholesome Roots. So she has 900 subscribers and she wants to do a giveaway, a seed giveaway. So go enter and I will put the link to her channel in the description below and I think you'll really enjoy her videos. Thank you very much and have a great day.